When you want to conquer a people, you give them a myth, you get them to believe the myth, and then you have, through repetition, have them form the habit of believing the myth. We've been trained to think about Europeans as our God. So we're at war with who? We're at war with God? Because we still, many of us, believe in the white image of Jesus. And if that's his son, we know that his father must also be white. So are you trying to tell me we're at war with that? The thing about being conscious and truthful is you got to be tough. You got to be ready to get violent because people are always going to try to take advantage of you. Because if you're winning, they're losing. And those guys cheat and you don't. So you got to be, they got to know not to play with you. They got to know you got, you can't really think that you're just going to have an opinion without some muscle. We've also had the mindset of resistance. Even in Los Angeles here, a lot of gangs got started because they were combating the white supremacist groups that were targeting black people in certain neighborhoods. So street gangs were created to really battle them at first. In the 60s, they banned martial artists. They had registration of people's hands and feet because it was something they didn't quite understand. And plus, when people came from the armed forces and started using karate, it was dangerous at that time in neighborhoods that are of a more upscale, financially affluent society, white, Jewish, etc., they are infused with fertility clinics. While in our societies, the ones that do not have that elevated level of economics, black and brown, impoverished communities have abortion clinics. The first revolution Gil Scott Heron tells us is the revolution in the mind. 